Say hello to Zorro. Mmm. Or Laney, who has to deal with Jules and Maggie's schedule. Mr. Bud had it pretty good. Everything was just right. He had his own house, his own bed, his own toys, his own dish, but most of all... He had his own schedule, and everybody stuck to the schedule. It went like this. One. Wake up time. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Two. Biscuit. Then I'll walk time. Three. Nap time. Four, shift position and nap some more time. Five, wait and watch time. Six, greet and make a fuss time. Okay, okay, good boy. Seven, quick backyard time. Eight, dinner time. Nine, after dinner walk time. Slow down, wait. 10. Movie, then bedtime. That was it. That was the schedule, and everybody stuck to the schedule. No exceptions. One day, write and greet and make a fuss time. There was a stranger. Mr. Bud, say hello to Zorro. Zorro's moving in with us. Mr. Bud? What kind of name is Mr. Bud? What kind of name is Zorro? And there was trouble. Stop it! No! Now you two get along, they were told. It wasn't easy at first. Zorro, Zorro had his own things, and he could be bossy. Beat it. Mr. Bud had his own things, and he could be grumpy. What do you want? But then, something surprising happened. Mr. Bud and Zorro found out they had the same schedule. Slow down, wait! Hey, hey! Suddenly, the walks were more fun. They're slim. Get them! Nap time was more comfortable. Greet and make a fuss time was much louder. Okay, all right. All right, calm down. Even movie, then bedtime was more exciting. Would you guys knock it off? So, even though Mr. Bud was still sometimes grumpy, back off Zorro. And Zorro could still be f pretty bossy. Hey, that's my dish. They became best friends. And everybody stuck to the schedule. He has a tree. The end.